New York's Metropolitan Transportation Authority has unveiled new technology aimed at stopping the spread of COVID-19. The agency will use ultraviolet lights on trains and buses when they're off service. The hope is to stop coronavirus in its tracks. Dr. David Brenner joins me now. He's the director of the Center for Radiological Research at Columbia University. He's been the MTA's technical advisor on this project. Dr. Brenner. First of all, I think one of the things that was so interesting to me when I was reading in about this was the different spectrums of light. Everybody, I think, is familiar with UVA, UVB, but you say it's UVC that's being employed in this technology. How effective is that in killing COVID-19? Well, you're right. This, we're, we're talking about UVC, which is uh, different from, from what's in sunlight, which indeed is UVA and UVB. So UVC light, which is just a different wavelength of UV. Um, has been known for probably more than 100 years now to be very effective at killing uh, all bacteria and all viruses, and that includes the, uh, the virus that uh, is giving, causing COVID-19. So it's, it's, in principle, a very good approach to, uh, to, to trying to control the, the pandemic. So the UVC lights, um, is that similar to what we would see in a nail salon used for sterilizing equipment? Well, first of all, you can't see it at all. It's, it's invisible. Uh, it's, it's not visible light. It's ultraviolet light. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's used in a variety of different contexts to, uh, to sterilize rooms and equipment. Um, one of the major applications these days is in a surgical operating rooms. So. Overnight, when people leave the operating room, the UVC lamps are turned on. Uh, they they sterilize the room, and by the morning, you have a clean operating room. And it's the same general idea in, in, that the MTA are using. Uh, when when the trains and buses are not in use overnight, they're going to uh, um, there will be no people present. They're going to turn on these lamps, and they're going to sterilize the buses and and, uh, and trains. And as you mentioned, it's going to be when the, when those buses and trains are out of commission, no people are going to be on it because UVC, as I understand it, is very harmful to humans. So that this technology isn't like using an x-ray machine at the airport. You, you're not going to see people walking through ultraviolet machines before getting on the subway. Um, I think that a lot of people have heard this news and think that it means that, uh, that everybody uh, is going to be walking through these types of, of UV detectors or UV, uh, UV um, sanitizers, but it's not like that at all. Is that right? That's right. This, this technology is not like that. This technology is not used when people are present. So the fact that the MTA is, is at the moment closed, closed down between uh, 1 in the morning and 5 in the morning gives them the opportunity to, uh, to sterilize their, their trains and buses when people are not in, the, uh, not in the train. And we've heard, we've heard some people talking about sunlight um, helping to break down COVID-19. Um, is, is sunlight at all effective? And should people be spending time outdoors as a safety precaution or in the sun as a safety precaution against the coronavirus? Well, as, as we were talking about before, sunlight is mainly UVA with a little bit of UVB. So that's really not very effective at killing uh, bacteria and viruses. So I don't think from, I mean, we, we should all be uh, going out uh, as long as we have our masks on and we, we keep our distance. But in terms of killing uh, the coronavirus, I'm very skeptical that sunlight uh, is, well, it, it, it will kill a, a little bit, but uh, it's certainly not an efficient killer in the same sense that UVC is, is an efficient killer of bacteria and viruses. So it's a good reminder for people that they should be wearing their sunscreen when they go outdoors and that that's not going to be how they're protecting themselves against coronavirus. I think that sometimes when they're hearing, I, I think that for a lay audience, a non-scientific audience, uh, people like myself, when you hear ultraviolet lights, you have also heard, I think, some politicians talking about the benefit of sunlight in killing the coronavirus. But to be clear, you're the scientific authority on this, and you say that is not the case, that this is, some, that this is an entirely different spectrum of light. Yes, this is UVC light, which is much, much more effective at killing uh, viruses than either UVA or UVB. 
So this technology will not have any effect on airborne water droplets after somebody coughs, for example, because it's only effective on these surfaces when people are not around. Well, uh, as, as you say, it's, it's going to be used overnight. So uh, come five o'clock in the morning, yes, you have an extremely clean uh, subway car or bus. But of course, at that point, people are going to come on the, uh, the buses and trains. And uh, should, they, should they have the virus and cough and sneeze, then over the course of the day, the, uh, the, the bus or train, train will get uh, contaminated again. But that, that said, it's still a, a real positive thing because you started off with no virus in the, uh, in the bus or train first thing in the morning. So the level of virus uh, in the train will definitely be less than it would have been without, the, uh, without this uh, UV treatment. Um, but I, I should say that uh, step, step two, where, where, where we think we're going in the future, is there is a type of uh, UVC light, and that's called far UVC. Uh, which actually uh, can be used when people are around. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't have the safety issues that conventional germicidal UV light has. So in the future, what we think we're going to see is these, uh, these types of lamps on in the train uh, while people are present, um, which, and it'll kill the COVID-19, but kill it safely. So when you say it's not far away, what does that mean? How soon before we actually see this type of far UVC um, active disinfectant systems on public transportation or in our airports? It's very exciting, as you can imagine. Yeah, I think it's a potential breakthrough and uh, not so far away. And uh, I think we're talking weeks and months. Uh, uh, certainly we're talking this year. Uh, and we see it uh, being used in, in any location where People are, are populating like uh, restaurants and, uh, as you say, airplanes, uh, buses and trains, as we've been talking about, uh, but the, the, and, and shops, of course, and offices. But the difference here compared with what we were talking about before is that you can use these lamps actually when people are around. So you can have continuous disinfection, of, particularly of the air that we're, that we're breathing. And are we already there technologically, and it's just a question of manufacturing, or we're still waiting for uh, waiting for some of the kinks of the science to be worked out? I, th I think manufacturing is, is the main roadblock at this point. Uh, as you can imagine, there are an awful lot of occupied public places in this country, um, so we're needing to talk talk about uh, getting very large numbers. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure many people join me in being excited at the prospect and promise of this technology. Well, we are too, so thanks, thanks for talking to us.